In this lesson, we are going to talk about shifting of a series. So this is very important uh, for the things that we'll be doing later on. Because um, sometimes it, we may have to shift a series to start at a certain point and then um, do some, you know, do some other things from there. But let me explain what, uh, what shifting of a series is. So let's say I have a summation. Let's say it's going from 1 to 4 in. So if I write, if we write this out, okay, starting from 1, we're going to get 1, and then plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Okay, so we stop at 4. So this is going to give us the value of 10. Okay. So we can come up with the same value. Okay, we can preserve the original series um, by doing a shift. So if we subtract, let's say, if we subtract 1 from n, let's say we start from 0. Okay, so if I subtract from here, I have to subtract from the top as well. So whatever amount that I subtract, we have to add that same amount to n. Okay, so, so this should give us 10. Okay, so let's check. When n is 0, we get 1. Okay, when n is 1, we get 2. When n is 2, we get 3. Okay, when n is 3, we're going to get 4. So we also get 10. Okay. So let's change this. Okay, let's come up with the same summation, but let's start at 2 this time. So I'm adding 2 to the, I'm adding 2, right, from the previous one. So that means in order to preserve this, I need to add 2 to the top part as well. So add 3 and 2 will give us 5. So since we added 2 here, then I need to subtract 2. We need to subtract 2 from here. So that's going to be n plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so that's going to be n minus 1. So again, let's check. So when n is 2, we're going to get 1. When n is 3, we're going to get 2. When n is 4, we get 3. And when n is 5, we get 4. So we get 10 here, okay? So shifting preserves the, the sum of the, of the finite series, okay? It also works for infinite series, okay? If you shift to infinite series, it will still converge to that, uh, to whichever value the original one was based on, okay? So that is shifting, okay? So later we're going to do an example. Uh, where we're gonna have to find the sum of a geometric series. In order to do that, but it's, that series is going to start from a different number from zero. So we're going to have to shift, and then we can apply the definition for a geometric series that converges.